Today we discuss our thoughts on the brand new Nintendo Direct, and we got a ton of really awesome games traded in. How's it going? It's going good. The new register working well? Yeah, we just don't have the sticker labels or the cash drawer, but it's really nice because we had two, we had multiple large trade-ins at once. I was working on two over here and then Chris worked on one over there. So we nice. Get it all done pretty quickly. And I see we got some cool stuff here. Yeah. We cool. might, we might take a look at that a little bit later. Yeah. You guys want PlayStation All-Stars factory seal? <gasps> you know they do. Don't tease them. <laughs> Only one person can get it. Kyle's doing some stuff. Yeah. What are you doing? I was, we had a bunch of artwork. And so I was trying to put them with empty cases. And I'm going to see if we have the discs for them. We got some nice. cool ones in here. So if we ever get the discs. Beautiful Joe 2. Warrior World. Yeah, we were, Ooh, let me see that Warrior World. It's the Kmart version. The rare Kmart exclusive. We also we also paired several cases and manuals with this trading as well. So like this Mario Kart was loose. So we had the thing for that. Nice. Good job, guys. Thanks. We have a ton of trades to go through today. I'm going to show you them in two separate clips. This is the first one. Starting off with some bigger box stuff. We have the Scott Pilgrim Collector's Edition for the Switch. We have this really cool Mega Man figure. We have this Dante figure from Devil May Cry 5. Also pretty cool. Those have both been opened, I believe. Or at least the Dante one has. Yeah, this one's been opened. They've both been opened. Um, then we have also the Samurai Jack Battle Through Time Special Edition. It does have a rip right here, which is why it's marked as poor. But there's the price tag. And then we have these two Pokemon figures, which are pretty cool. We have two of the uh, 20th Anniversary Xbox One controllers there. Got a couple little Kirby keychain plushies. There's the tags for those. And then the Piranha Plant here. These are like the little dangler ones. I don't know what you want to call them. Then we have a stack of movies here. I did not uh, put these in any sort of order. I just stacked them up. We have Ghost Stories, two film collection, a couple Jason movies, Ash vs. Evil Dead Blu-ray with a lenticular cover, Dragon Ball uh, Super Broly, Dragon Ball History of Trunks and Bardock, double, double feature, Dragon Ball Season 1. I can't read all these off, guys. There's a bunch of anime in here and some horror and stuff as well. That's a big set. The Fly, Friday, Nightmare on Elm Street, Freddy vs. Jason, Army of Darkness, Dead Heat, Evil Dead 2, Evil Dead, Bubba Hotep, Bubba Hotep, Bubba Hotep, Bubba Hotep. Back to the Future Trilogy, Westworld Season 2, Westworld Season 1, Dune, Tomb Raider with a steel book. Uh, Spider-Man, also with a steel book. Spaceballs, Logan, Ghostbusters 1 and 2, and The Fifth Element with a steel book. And it's got the little paper backing there, but it's not attached. And then these two stacks are games going from 99 cents up to $10. The second clip that you'll see later in this video will be the $13 end up games. So nothing super special in here, but we have NBA, Vegas stakes, and I, these are not in order of console, as you can tell. I only sorted them by price. Madden 08, Splinter Cell Pandora Tomorrow, Madden 25, Madden 18, NBA 2K18, Skylanders Giants, RC Pro-Am, Al Unser Jr. Turbo Racing, SSX, LEGO Star Wars, LEGO Star Wars 2, NHL 2001, MVP 06, uh, NCAA Baseball, Tom Clancy's Division, Hitman Absolution, Skylander Spires Adventure, Skylander Swap Force, Spider-Man 3, World of Zoo, and Rayman Raving Rabbids. Then we have Mickey Mouse Capade, Kung Fu, Rise to Honor, Enter the Matrix, Rage, My Spanish Coach, Assassin's Creed Ezio Trilogy, Enemy Front, Ben 10 Alien Force, Star Wars Complete Saga, Super Off-Road, Rocket Ranger, Back to the Future, FIFA 11, uh, 2K19 20th Anniversary Edition, Lego the Movie, Lego Batman 3, Portal 2, Lego Marvel Superheroes, 
Transformers Dark of the Moon, Grand Theft Auto Episodes from Liberty City, Damage Inc., and Ratatouille! This week, my staff pick is Sea of Solitude, the director's cut. Uh, this is a Switch game where you are um, playing as a younger, like, teenage girl who is going through um, kind of like a dream world of depression and grief. And you are going with her as she confronts certain things and she changes and she grows. Um, it is kind of an emotional game. It was for me just because it's something I connected with a little bit, but also it's very vibrant and bright and it's a very unique game that you don't see a whole lot of them out there. I can't even compare it to another game off the top of my head, um, but it's definitely worth a playthrough. It's not a super long game. I beat it in one sitting um, and I think that sitting was about seven hours. It was either six or seven hours, but it is a phenomenal game and I encourage you to check it out. And again, that's just Sea of Solitude and that is for the Nintendo Switch. All right guys, so we're gonna talk a little bit about the Nintendo Direct that just happened. We got me, Kyle, and Adam here. And so we have a list of all the stuff that they announced. We have, we're not gonna talk about, talk about everything, but we do have some stuff. So first, Advanced Wars. So I was excited about that. Um, they added, you know, voice acting and stuff like that, and it's like a massive remaster compared to the Game Boy Advance games, and I didn't get to play a whole lot of those, but I'm very excited about that one. Mario Strikers! Hell yeah! This one looked really, really good. On my Discord, I, like, right before the Direct, I was like, all I want is Mario Strikers, and then, like, ten minutes later, I was like, hell yeah, Mario <laughs> Strikers. It looks really good. That's an amazing game on Wii, and it even had online on Wii, and there's gonna be... The online mode for Switch looks pretty good. There's a lot of options seems like and there's up to eight players local multiplayer which is gonna be awesome as well yeah adam texted me he's like it's got up to eight players so we can play on our game nights yeah. <laughs> splatoon 3. um i was hoping for a release date i think they said summer and i'm sure we'll get a dedicated direct on it so i think they just showed the co-op mode um and it looks really cool just waiting for that direct or release date on that it does say summer on here at least yeah uh, skipping down a bunch of stuff, we have the Chrono Cross Radical Dreamers Edition. So well, that one, I saw in Spawn Wave that some listing had been made for Chrono Cross, or like some news about that. But then they announced it and I saw the price, it's only $20, so I'm super excited. I still have my PS1 Black Label copy, so. Next is the Kirby and the Forgotten Land. I'm really excited about this one. It, it just looks like a Mario game, yeah. but... <laughs> I've tried to play a bunch of Kirby games in the past and I've never gotten too into them because they're always so easy. But this Kirby game looks more like Mario Odyssey. And you which, can absorb like objects. Yeah. And car and stuff. Which is just like Mario Odyssey. You can yeah, throw your yeah. hat. So I don't know. I thought that one looked pretty cool. I'm excited for that one. It should be called Kirby Odyssey. <laughs> Next, this is a big one. Klonoa. Yeah, I... One of Adam's like favorite games of I'm all time. A, yeah, I'm, I'm a pretty quiet person, but like I actually like yelled out loud when they announced that. <laughs> um, there was like a year or two ago, there was a trademark that got announced for it or whatever in Japan uh, for Clono Encore, which they did for Mr. Driller. Um, then two years went by, nothing got announced, and they finally announced it. It looks really good. Um, it's Clono One and Two. Um, there was a, re re a remake on Wii, but it wasn't very good and they're remaking it completely from the PS1 and PS2 versions, and it looks really good. They also added a co-op mode, which was not announced, but if you look on the website, it says two players, so it's gonna be awesome. Next is Live Alive. So, I saw this one. I had only heard the name, but I'd never like seen any gameplay, but the fact that they're doing the HD 2D and you know porting the game with full English translation and stuff like that, I was super excited about. It was only available in like Japan before, right? Yeah. So when I saw it and they were describing the game, I was like, oh, it's like the original Octopath Traveler before yeah. Octopath. So Yeah, I thought the same thing and I thought it looked pretty good. I'm not like super big into RPGs, obviously not as big as, as Kyle, but um, I did play Octopath for a bit, but it just got really tedious. Yeah. But the trailer for Live Alive looks really cool because every character has its own different like theme and like time era. Yeah. Some of them I thought looked better than others, but it looks interesting. So I'll yeah, probably check that one out that as one. well. And then the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass. This one is really cool. <clears throat> I was not expecting it at all. I love Mario Kart 8, as you guys probably know. 48 new tracks, that is so crazy. Well, they're bringing 
tracks from older systems as well. So yeah. it's not like new but, tracks, but, but they're all they're all they're ripped. all remade. They're all ripped from Mario Kart Tour. Like the art style, there's no there's no texture at all in the courses. They might change it up a little bit because I know that they're only doing um, what is it like six at a time or something like that? Eight at a time over six waves. Yeah. Yeah. So they have time to like tweak stuff if they want to or whatever. But I'm excited for that. Yeah, it'll be cool. The last one is Xenoblade Chronicles 3. I was the most excited for this one. I was not expecting this announcement, but I played a lot of Xenoblade Chronicles 2, and I've played Chronicles X and the first game, but I put like, I think a little over 200 hours into Xenoblade Chronicles 2, so I'm super excited for 3. Uh, there's no collector's edition announcement, so I'm hoping, you know, that'll come later, but I have all the other collector's editions. Yeah, they're definitely so. gonna do one. Those are our thoughts on the most recent Nintendo Direct. All right, guys, we have three packages to open. One from a supplier, then two from a dude. A dude? Yeah. Let's go with the one from the supplier first. I pre-cut them open, but we have not looked inside yet. Oh, <gasps> supplies. Is that all that's in here? No. Ooh. Which ones are those? Mm -hmm. Demon Slayer? Demon Slayer? More Demon Slayer gaffies. Can you, can you not? Nice. <laughs> and then we have some Switch games. It's only two games, but we have yeah. quantity of each. Call it. Okinawa Rush. We have standard and limited edition ones. There's five of these, and I think five of the regular ones. This one says box number one, so we're gonna open this one first. It says, the note says, it says, what up peeps? Thank you very much for purchasing some of my collection. I watch your channel every day and figured since I'm starting to sell my collection, what better place for it to go than you guys? Keep up the great work with the channel and your store. This is box one of two, which is this stuff and this stuff. And then here's the info. So we got both boxes delivered today. We got King's Field and In the Hunt. One of those Long box. might have been case only. I can't remember. There was something that was case only in here, I'm pretty sure. Well, In the Hunt is case only. And then King's Field, I think, just King's didn't have a manual. Field is in there. We have a disc only copy of Obscure for the PS2, which, if you guys don't know, is a very expensive game. Ugh, more Sega Saturn stuff. We have a disc only Panzer Dragoon, which we have a case for. Remember when that lady brought in the one and the yeah. disc was cracked in half? <laughs> we also have Clockwork Knight. All right. You love the Saturn stuff. World Series Baseball. Saturn is Adam's favorite console. Virtua Cup. Black Fire. He's always talking about it. And Daytona USA without the main. Leave. <laughs> He can leave. We have a bunch of disc only ones here. Daytona USA, Criticom, Sega Rally Championship. We have another one of the bootleg samplers. I think we have like five of these now. Need for Speed, Nights into Dreams Sampler, Virtua Cop, Fighting Vipers, Tomb Raider, Man XTT Superbike, Something Revolution? It looks like it just says Revolution Revolution. And Virtua Fighter 2. And now it is Nice. How much is that? Wait. We just sold one. I think it was $130. What was the one that was a thousand? That's Saga. Mm. Which we also sold. Nice. And then rest of this first box, we have Mist. Next box. The Mansion of Hidden Souls, which we always see for Sega CD, but not for Saturn. We have Bug, D, and NHL All-Star Hockey. And it looks like it had a Sega sticker on it at some point right there, but it's been ripped off. Oh, and then we're gonna save this for last. There's one more item from the first box, but we're going to save it because it was special. Mm -hmm. 
It is. It's the most expensive thing out of the whole box. It doesn't mean it's special. It is special. It's no. rare. We have some Dreamcast games. I all the Sega crap. We have a <laughs> generator demo. House of the Dead 2. The peeps want Nintendo. Tomb Raider Chronicles. 18 Wheeler and Time Stalkers. We might have a case for Time Stalkers. I'm not sure. Ready to Rumble Boxing. Ready to Rumble Boxing 2. I think it's 2 as well. What? I don't know. Ready to Rumble Boxing. And then one says Rumble. No, that's just Ready to Rumble Boxing. This is round 2, so yeah. whatever. World Series Baseball 2K2. Crazy Taxi. So this is Crazy Taxi 2. It's the case artwork and the disc, and then the front, they took some like crazy taxi printout and then wrote a two on it. <laughs> and then Trick Style, Vigilante 8, Second Offense. Legacy of Kane, Soul Reaver. Quake 3. NBA 2K. Slave Zero. Sega Smash Pack, oh you won. Tia, Tony Hawk Pro Skater Dos, Test Drive Le Mans, Plastic Pieces Falling Off These, Broke It, Speed Devils, I'll open this while you're doing this. NFL Blitz 2000 something, Sega GT, and Sega Dreamcast Web Browser. Rare! Just seal them right there. Where? Right there. Right here. Okay. We have NBA Showtime. Demolition Racer. That one's water damage though. Pen Pen Trella Trial Trolla Long Long. Kinda looks cool. MTV Skateboarding. Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX. House of the Dead 2. So we got a loose one and a complete one. Rippin' Riders. Sega Bass Fishing. Shenmue. NHL 2K. Expan Expendables. I almost said Expandables. NFL 2K. Atari Anniversary Edition. Hidden and Dangerous, but the manual's been folded. Test Drive 6. And Silent Scope. South Park, Chef's Love Shack, Wacky Races, Air Force Delta, Flag to Flag, and there's one Dreamcast game that I need, and that is Mortal Kombat Gold. Pretty sure I've got the rest of these. But then the last item, which is the special one, this is everything, right? The last item is a Silent Hill demo for PS1. This thing is incredibly expensive. It goes for way more than the actual game itself. Stupid. And Silent Hill is already an expensive game, but this demo here is like two, three, something like that, $300. It's pretty crazy, but there it is. Super rare, super cool. Thank you, Ryan. We appreciate it. Hey, I have a question. Yeah. Do you guys like buy games? Uh, yeah. Oh, hey, what are these games over here on the side? Uh, these are all back stock. These are games that are just duplicates of what's already out there. Oh, can I can I see them? Can I see, can I see the uh, Mario Kart? I guess. Oh, can I see uh, Galaxy and can I see Final Fantasy you know, and can I, see, can I see Uncharted? They're all out if you want to check them out. These are just duplicates. Hey, um, that Super Nintendo there on the wall, yeah. is that... Right is that new? No, we only we sell used consoles mainly. How would it be new? Hey, is this GameStop? No. What? These are the rest of the trades from today. So we're going to be starting with games that are starting at $13 and then going up. So we have Forsaken 64, Metal Gear Solid 2, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, Doom 3 BFG, Namco Museum DS, Worms Open Warfare, Birds of Steel, Lego Harry Potter Years 1 through 4, Goldeneye Rogue Agent, 
uh, PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. This is a factory sealed copy. Ghostbusters 2, Knight Rider, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, Splinter Cell, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 2, Acme Animation Factory, The Last Guardian, Transformers Fall of Cybertron, Top Gun Hard Lock, Aliens vs. Predator, Super Mario Galaxy, and Super Paper Mario. Then we have FIFA Soccer 12, Resident Evil Outbreak, Odd World, Abe's Odyssey, Mario Kart 8, Mario Strikers Charged, Super Smash, Mario Maker. We have disc-only games in here as well, Crazy Taxi 2, Star Wars Jedi Power Battles, Wave Race Blue Storm, there's two copies, Zelda Twilight Princess, The New Tetris, Crazy Taxi, Hydro Thunder, Rocksmith 2014, Zoom, Resident Evil Zero, Animal Crossing New Leaf, Mario Party 10, House of the Dead 2 and 3 Return, Super Smash Brawl, and New Super Mario Bros. Wii. We're up to the almost $30 games here. We have a lot of good stuff. DuckTales, Shovel Knight, Resident Evil 1, uh, Top Gun Wingman Edition, or is it Wingman or Wingman? I don't know. It's got a movie and the thing. Wii Sports, the Nintendo Selects version. Mario Sports Mix. WarioWare Smooth Moves. Super Mario Galaxy 2. Mario Kart Wii. San Francisco Rush 2049. Alex Kidd in the Enchanted Castle. Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. Zelda Skyward Sword. Beautiful Joe. Mario Party 8. And Wii Sports Resort in the big box with the Wii Motion Plus adapter. Now we get into the, the real expensive ones here. There's a good stack. We have Resident Evil 3, disc only for Dreamcast. Animal Crossing, there are two copies today. Excuse me. Mario Party 9, Killer 7, Zelda Wind Waker. This is a disc only copy of Resident Evil 2 for the Dreamcast. So they're both in there. Then we have Super Mario Strikers. Mario Kart Double Dash, Diablo for PS1, Eternal Darkness, Sanity's Requiem, and lastly, we have Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes for the GameCube. And this one does not have a manual, but it also doesn't have the paint cracking that this game is notorious for. So, really, really awesome stuff today. Lots of good GameCube games. We got some cartridge stuff, a couple Genesis games in there even. And yeah, I'm really happy with today's trade-ins. That's gonna do it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed, but before we end it, I have a question for you. Did you see the secret message that I hid somewhere in this vlog? If you did, please let me know in the comments down below. If you did find it, please do not post a timestamp. I don't want anyone to be cheating, but if you found it, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you again tomorrow.